All right, guys, we're back with another Pokemon Master video, and we got Mega Heracross here along with Barry, the costume scout. And um, I'm just going to get right into it. They are, like, super good. They are really good. They are going to be the new uh, Bug-type striker. And, um, yeah, like, <laughs> they're, they're going to be really good. So let's just get right into it. So let's move their stats all the way to the max right away. Uh, just so we can kind of see what they have to offer. And their, their stats are looking really good already. Um, so, move set. Uh, actually, no, let's start with their uh, stats actually. So, at level 155 out of 520 out of 20, um, their HP is going to be 841. Physical attack, 480. Uh, physical defense, 200. Special attack, 434. Special defense, 215. And speed is going to be 391. Now, when they mega evolve, that physical attack turns into 575, which is pretty high. Uh, physical defense stays the same, uh, special attack stays the same, and then special defense goes up to 257 when they mega evolve. Uh, so that's really good. Now for their passive, they're going to have guaranteed triple, which increases the number of times the, users, uh, the user hits with a move that has a multi-strike effect tag uh, to three or more uh, when that move is successful. And then they have entry, attack, and speed two which raises the attack and speed by two stat ranks when the user enters the battle. And then they also have a uh, piercing case, which never, uh, which allows you to never miss your attack. And then when they mega evolve, guaranteed triple goes into no, no quarter. And it maximizes the number of times the, users, uh, the user hits with a move that has a multi-strike uh, attack when the move is successful. And then everything else stays the same. It's just no quarter that changes when... Uh, uh, you mega evolve so yeah looking really good already passive wise so the move set is going to be pin missile and uh, close combat and then their buddy move is going to be spiral mega horn which is going to be an aoe with a base power of 360 which is really good activation condition when any of the users attack attack move hits a total of five times while this move is deactivated uh deactivation condition when the move is used uh, the power of this move is not lowered even if there are multiple targets and that's the only effect uh, with this move uh, So that's good. I mean you can never go wrong with that because with the base power of 360 That's gonna hit really hard and with the damage not decreasing with uh, the aoe That's gonna make this guy hit insanely hard um, and then their trainer move uh, reduces the user sync move countdown by one Raises the user's attack by two stat ranks and raises the user's critical hit by three stat ranks. Applies the endure effect to the user. And uh, you can only use this once. And then their sync move. Only effect that, that you have is you become Mega Heracross until the end of battle. And for their uh, EX roll, they're going to be a tech type. And uh, when they're six stars, uh, their sync move is going to be uh, uh, increased. Uh, their damage is going to be increased for their sync move. Uh, but when you do not have them at uh, EX roll, um, then uh, they're not going to get that. Oh, wait, no, wait. Yeah, okay, okay, it's tech. <laughs> For a second, I thought tech was their like main roll. But their main role is physical striker. And then when you get them to EX roll, they're going to be tech. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, they're looking good there. So, let's go to their grid and see what they are holding over here. So, let's start off at the top, right? So, at 1 out of 5... You're just going to get pin missile power-ups over here. And then starting off at 2 out of 5, you're going to start getting another pin missile power-up. You're going to get a pin missile uh, move gauge refresh 3. And then you're going to get a, um, a sync move power-up. That's a weird spot to have the sync move, actually. Uh, and then 3 out of 5, you're going to get uh, ramming speed. So the more the user's speed is raised, the more it powers up the user's move. And then you're going to get punishing strike 2. Has a 30% chance of lowering the target's defense by one stat rank when the user's attack move against it hits. If the move has the lowering the target, uh, has a multi-strike effect, uh, has a 30% chance of lowering the target's defense by one stat rank for each hit. So this is going to be pretty good to have as well for Mega Heracross. So I would probably say top right is going to be a really good path to go for so far. Uh, because you get ramming speed, so then their power is going to be increased. Uh, so pin missile, their buddy move is going to be hitting a lot harder along with uh, close combat. So this is going to be really good to have. And then punishing strike, 
for each hit that you do with uh, Pin Missile, you have a 30% chance of lowering the defense, allowing you to do more damage when you do uh, when you get the defense drop on the enemy. So that's going to be pretty helpful. So at the top left now, uh, at 1 out of 5, all you're going to get is Unflappable, which prevents you from getting flinched. And then at 2 out of 5, oh, also, by the way, you also get another um, uh, Sacred Power Up at 3 out of 5 in the middle path over here. Uh, and then 2 out of 5 on the top left, you're going to get... What is this? Uh, <laughs> go ahead, super uh, uh, preparation nine. It applies a super effective next effect to the user when the move is successful, um, which is their trading move. And then you're gonna get uh, go ahead MP refresh two, along with um, tripping tripping strike one. Has a 20% chance of lowering the target speed by one stat rank when the user's attack move against it hits. If the move has a multi strike effect tag, that's a has a 20% chance of lowering the target speed by one stat rank for each hit. Um, so honestly, so far, like a two to five, like this path isn't really like the greatest or anything. Like I'd probably say that the preparation nine is going to be pretty solid to have. Um, but you can only use your sync move or um, training move once, um, unless you get the MP refresh to activate. But like, it's not, honestly it's not really worth it. Um, unless you really want to get that uh, super effective next uh, to activate right away. Um, but this would mainly work if um, you use uh, Pin Missile, get that 5 hits, then you go for the trade move, and then you go for the buddy move, and then you get that super effective next uh, on that buddy move, and then you're just going to be doing so much damage. So unless you want to strategize like that, then this is where this is going to be good. But if you just want to use your training move right away, then, like, I mean, this is not really going to benefit you too much. Uh, so now at 3 to 5 on the top left, you're going to get Head Start 1. Reducing the user's take move countdown by 1 the first time it enters the battle, each battle. And then you get Haymaker. The more the user's attack is raised, the more it powers up the user's sync move. So I'd probably say the top left is weaker than the top right. So, uh, so far, the top right is looking to be the best path to go for. Um, and then top left is like nothing like too crazy. It's just mainly prioritizing um, the, um, the training move to allow you to hit a little bit harder for that one attack. So unless you get unless you strategize on getting the five hits first, activating your buddy move, then you use your training move, get that super effective next, then you use your buddy move and just do that insane damage. So unless you're going to strategize like that, then you can go for this path. But if not, then it's really not worth going for uh, top left. So now at the bottom left, uh, at 1 out of 5, you're just going to get uh, Spiral Mega Horn power-ups. And then at 2 out of 5, you're going to get another Spiral Mega Horn power-up, along with a Spiral Mega Horn move gauge refresh 3, and a Sync move power-up. And then at 3 out of 5, you're going to get another Sync move power-up, along with a Speedster's Sync 9. So it powers up the user Sync move when its speed is raised, and you're going to get Entry Freebie. Applies the free move next effect to the user when it enters a battle. Um, so top bottom left, nothing too crazy, honestly. Um, I'd probably say uh, this is kind of like useless because like when you use it, like it, then it deactivates and then you got to do the five hits again with the uh, pin missile, which is gonna be super easy because when you get to Mega Heracross, uh, you're guaranteed to get five hits anyway. So it's gonna be super easy to activate, but. Um, like a uh, pin missile is a low cost move anyway like a, lo a low move gauge move it's only like two move gauge or something like that um so like after you use um spiral mega horn you're still gonna have like two move gauge if uh your move gauge is full because spiral mega horn is four move gauge after you use uh spiral mega horn you're still gonna be left with two move gauge so then you're gonna go to pin missile it's gonna cost you two and then you're probably going to get, uh, and your speed is going to be high anyway as well. So like your move gauge is going to be moving up fast. Um, so like I would probably say bottom left is really not anything um, in, in, like insane either. So like I'd probably say the left side of the grid is not anything special. So not really impressing me, uh, but maybe the bottom right is going to impress me. And this is going to be more for close combat now. Um, so at, uh, one out of five on the bottom right, you're going to get two close combat power-ups and the power-ups are actually pretty good. Uh, they're plus four instead of plus three. Is it like normally they're plus three? Yeah, they're normally plus three. So close combat is getting plus four, which is good. So if you get these two, it's going to increase your close combat power 
by eight, which is not bad actually. Um, and then starting at two out of five, you're gonna get another close combat power up, and uh, that's gonna increase your close combat base power by 12 if you get all four of them or all three which is not bad not bad at all and then uh, at two out of five also you're gonna get close combat move gauge refresh three along with a close combat super effective five <laughs> not bad okay that's that's pretty good so if you want to use uh heracross more as a fighting type which you can um close combat is going to be hitting pretty hard and then at three to five you're going to get a sync move power up along with a close combat staggering three has a 40% chance of making the target flinch when the user's attack move against it is successful. And then you're going to get impervious so the user's stats cannot be lowered. And um, this is going to be helpful, especially if you plan on using close combat. This is going to be pretty good to have. So it depends on how you want to build this guy, actually. Because um, like close combat is more for like, like bottom right is more for close combat. So if you want to build close combat, then I would probably say like try to get all these stuff that you can get because this is going to really make you hit super hard with close combat and then you can come to uh bottom left and actually collect uh the spiral mega horror move gauge refresh if you want or you can skip it come around and then get a uh, speedster sync nine and then uh go for the entry freebie so at least you could use one close combat for free and then uh with uh impervious your stats are not going to get lowered either and then you have uh, staggering three, so then you have a 40% chance of making the target flinch. So like bottom left and top right, or uh, no, bottom left and bottom right, those two paths are going to be pretty helpful uh, to complement each other. Um, but you can also go for uh, bottom right and top left, uh, because this will also complement um, uh, close combat as well. Like this mainly complement, okay, so from what I can see actually, the top pass top right and top left uh they're going to complement each other more and then bottom left and bottom right that those two are going to complement each other so uh with us being able to make multiple grids uh obviously you could have m both of these grids active not active at the same time but you could make both of these grids and then if we're going up against uh, a battle that is weak against fighting types then you could use uh, the bottom grid for that battle and then if they're weak against uh uh bug then of course you can go for uh the top grid like there's so many like there's uh, a few ways that you can build this guy of course but like i'd probably say like that is the best way to go about it in my personal opinion i could like you guys can have your own opinions of course uh, you can let me know what you think is the best build for mega heracross but i personally think uh top right top left those two are going to complement each other and then bottom right and then bottom left are going to complement each other too but overall mega heracross is going to be pretty nuts um he's gonna be hitting really hard especially on uh spiral megahorn um but with how the buddy move is i'd probably say going with um top right and then bottom left that is going to be the best way to go about it because then you get stuff for uh, spiral megahorn and then you also get uh all the stuff for uh pin missile as well which could help a lot too of course um so like let me know how you guys are going to build mega Heracross. if you're going to be going for mega Heracross, don't forget we also have mega scissor coming in a couple days as well um so keep a lookout for that um but all in all like mega Heracross is really good um me like his mega stats for his physical attack is really damn high um and mega Heracross looks really cool too like look at this guy he looks so sick i love this guy um i have a lot of fond memories with him in pokemon x and y so uh, actually, no, did he come out in X and Y or did he come out in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire? Uh, regardless, I've, I have fond memories with this guy in, um, in uh, those games, playing with him, Mega evolving him. Like, he's really good. Like, he's really good. Even in the main series games, he's really good too. Um, and now in Pokemon Masters, he's really good also. And uh, even in Pokemon Go, he's actually coming out as well. So it's funny how these two uh, are coming out at the same time. Um, but like, I'm pretty sure they coordinated it because like with the bug event in Pokemon Go and the Mega Heracross coming here too, like, I, I don't think it's coincidence, but anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, Mega Heracross is definitely really good. Um, I'd probably say summon for Mega Heracross because he's going to be a really good bug type attacker and then he's going to be a really good fighting type attacker too. Only thing is for fighting type, his sync move is not a fighting type. 
Um, so that's going to be the only thing that's going to slow him down on damage. Um, but close combat is still going to be doing a lot anyway. Um, so you could definitely uh, still get away with uh, using Mega Heracross as a fighting type attacker too. So let me know what you guys think. That's going to be it for this video. Uh, good luck if you're going to be summoning for Mega Heracross and Barry. And uh, also, one last thing, their soundtrack is really good. <laughs> I really like their soundtrack. Like, it's, it's a definitely um, a good bop. Um, good tune. I love it. Um, but that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Good luck on your summons again. And that'll be it for this video. I will see you guys on the next video.